following is a production of TeamBoyTV.com. What is going on, everybody? What is happening? It's your boy, Big Q. This is Team Boy TV Game Time, and I'm joined by... Bernie V. And uh, I guess I should address the thing that's like, you know, since you and your, and your brother-in-law and, and everybody else want to drag me on Twitter... About I had, what? I had, a, I had a hunch. It didn't fall through with the brown. Oh, no. Uh, uh, JB was right there on that train oh, with it. Yeah, yeah baby, he right. was right there on that train with you. I called you both out on well, Sunday. Well, it, wasn't just, it wasn't just me and JB. It was Chris Carter. It was Nick Wright. Well, these it was prognosticators. <laughs> yeah, it was everybody, right? Well, okay, well, yeah, we're all wrong. <laughs> How about that? It was, uh, well, I, I will say this much. The, uh, Brown. The Browns put up a better fight against the Patriots than my Panthers did against the 49ers. Listen, <laughs> you know listen. So, uh, you know. The, the thing, though, with yeah. the Browns is that this is supposed to be their unbeatable squad. This is yeah. supposed to be their, you know, all, all in squad. You got Jarvis Landry, you got Miles Garrett on defense, you got Baker Mayfield, you got O. BJ, this is supposed to be the team of the future. You know what? I, I, I know what it is. Baker Mayfield handing the ball to the opposition. So it's, it's three issues with, with Cleveland that's that, that's keeping them from winning games, right? And, and and I was thinking about it today when I was watching some of the sports shows today, and I was thinking about last season, right? Um, they made that coaching change. Was it last season? Yes. Uh huh. And then they appointed um, Freddie Greg, Kitchens. Greg Wood. Greg oh, interim. Will. As an interim coach, and they started winning all those games, and they were super aggressive. And, and you know, and he just didn't let them be mediocre. He didn't let them, but you know, let the let their own personalities kind of like take over the mission of the team. Right. He was a better coach and a better leader for that team than Freddie Kitchens is. So my number one blame that I'm gonna put the blame on, put seventy percent of the blame on the reason why this team is underperforming on Freddie Kitchens. He is not. The guy to lead this team to what it could look. They done took all these years, seven, eight years, to build this team to finally um, get all these pieces in place. All these high round draft picks they had, all of these different quarterbacks they done went through, all the different coaches they done fired and let go to get to this point. Uh huh. Right. And they made one flawless, we flaw, uh, flawless move uh, when they uh, when they. Uh, didn't give Greg Williams the job, and they gave it to Freddie Kitchens for whatever reason. I don't know why. Uh, I don't even know. How, I don't even know what what went down. Enough. I don't know what what John Dorsey was thinking about. I don't know if it was that, that Williams took another job before uh, he gave him a chance to give him give him a job. I don't know what happened. But but that's the main thing. The Browns just don't know how to pick nothing. No way. Mm. I mean, they just they just need to stop. You know, Dorsey came in with these analytics, and people put this team together. And before the season ever started, before the even first to- co- coin toss, everybody had put these dudes in the, the playoff hunt. They were in the playoff hunt, and they hadn't done anything. And so you, they don't know how to handle defeat bad, well, at all. Baker Mayfield gets to the podium. It's the referees. Is this one? Is that one? Is the other? No, Baker. Is when you hand the ball to the other team. Mm-hmm. That's the first priority. Yes. Ball protection. Yes. I, I, I don't care. You. They didn't. They have this. They're not um, structured in the sense that they can't control themselves. All these uh, defensive penalties and bad snaps and all, that's their you, problem. You don't think that goes back like as far as the. The discipline, you don't think that goes back to, a, to the coaching? Oh. I, I don't recall them having that, that many discipline problems toward the, the you know last half of last season. I just don't remember it being that way. Right, I don't I don't either. Yeah, so I, so I, I agree. I think yeah. Freddie Kitchens is just, he's not no dynamic play caller. He, I mean, wh- who? Freddie who? Yeah. Why, what? Yes, right. And, then I, and, I, and I agree with you 100%. I think another big part of the blame is 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 on the quarterback. I right. think I think that Baker Mayfield is too much. He goes rogue too much. I think like under under like last season he was just he was sticking to the script. He was just doing he was doing what he was told to do, 
And now he feel like he he he's, he's such a, a big star or, or whatever he's feeling. He feeling like he can do his own thing. No, it you started know. just like I told y'all with Baker Mayfield. He has a bad attitude. It started with he didn't know his position with the other coach. Mm-hmm. Everywhere he went, he's still talking about the coach. Dude, come on, man. This man yeah. has made his mark in the NFL long before you had even got off the breast milk. Yeah. Stop it. I mean, good, bad, or indifferent. Good, bad, yeah, or um, indifferent. Yeah, so, I mean, it is what. But you still harboring something against him. The man's gone. Move on. Yeah. Now you get to the podium and talk about, oh, I'm, I'm just saying, but I'm not saying about the referees. Right. Yeah, and so and so again, the referees I, can't call an intercept. They can't make up an intercept. Right, you you know that, they didn't make that, that up. That's on you, right? And, and again, the poor decision making. Uh, and again, I think that just it, it's it's something going on with Baker where he's it looked like he's rebelling against the coach and like he just like and not accepting authority and, and wanted to do his own thing. That's the second thing. The third thing that you just mentioned, I, I think what it is is that. Not just Baker, but Baker and and Odell and Jarvis and and pretty much everybody else on that squad. They don't want to take responsibility for their own shortcomings, and I think that's a problem. I think until they, they until they get into their mind, they're losing as part of the game, and that you, you can't win them all, and you can't blame everybody else for losing. You're the one who lost, you know. What I mean? and, right? we, and we and we get these responses of, oh well, you know, it's no time to panic. This right. and the other. Yes. Now you get OBJ talking about it's time to panic. Right. Yeah, mm-hmm. y- y- y'all need to get this stuff straight. It was time to panic three weeks ago. There you go. You know what I'm saying? There so, you go. It, so, but you know, for whatever reason, it just felt like it was two things that, that was happening in my personal. And maybe this is why me and some media people and maybe JB were, were feeling the way we were feeling. It's, um, because, uh, it, number one, it felt like it was on, like, with, with the way that the New York, the New England Patriots offense has been going over the last couple of weeks, it felt like it was time for them to, to, to the Kings to show in the armor. They, they lost, uh, their number one wide receiver for the, for the year. He's gone. They brought in a new guy in, um, San, Sanders, right? Um, Sanu. Muhammad, Muhammad Sanu. Sanu. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and, and they weren't clicking. You could tell in the beginning of the game, Brady was trying to hit him. They couldn't find each other. It was weird. And, 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 I, and I knew that was going to happen. Like, they could only practice with him three times last week before he got to start. Playing with a new team, new coach, new coach of staff, new quarterback. It was bound to be some issues. So, I thought, okay, with that going on, and the fact that, you know, they haven't really been, been blowing the socks off a lot of people anyway. The offense has been, has been kind of like, you know, a, a mid-range. And yes, they got great defense, right? Right. But I figured the offense, you know, that, that, that the, the Cleveland defense will take advantage. And obviously that happens. So, that's the reason why I think a lot of us were thinking that way. So, I'm not, I'm not taking back. You know what I said last week. It just everything lined up, and it looked like an upset was in, in the making. But in true Cleveland Browns fashion, uh, they stuck to who they really are. So, <laughs> <laughs> right? Okay. You know what I mean? Um, so, you know, and I was hoping, I was hoping, uh, and I'm gonna get your thoughts on. I was hoping that I wouldn't hear any chatter, or anything, because you know the trade deadline was I think today at four thirty. I think it was. Right. Um, so, you know, obviously, I'm in Cam is still here in Charlotte, and that's great. But you know, some other, so so that stuff we could we could rest. But uh, seeing as how things went down in New Orleans last week, and seeing how things went down with the Panthers last week, um, what do you see? Well. Yeah, what do you see happening next with the 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 the, the New Orleans Saints are on the bye? <coughs> um, Breeze already, you know, did his thing at the start. Right. Do we see number one come back, uh, or do we? Or do we could like this was the conversation, right? We want to know what was what would happen when Kyle Allen lost. Not only did he lose, they lost in dramatic fashion, just like I predicted. Mm-hmm. What do we do? I think <laughs> I think we still push Kyle Allen. Mm-hmm. I think we do, and the only reason why. I say that is because we really need Cam at a hundred percent. Yeah, and I don't feel like with the Frank List injury, you know, I was reading up on it. It's not really one of those things that you're going to be a hundred percent. And because of the division that y'all are in, Atlanta's not doing nothing. Mm. Tampa's really not doing nothing. Y'all took care of them in in. Uh, London, Mm -hmm. your biggest competition is the Saints. And that doesn't happen when Cam comes back. Y'all are not playing them right away. So I really think that 
you need to see Kyle Allen. And, let, and let's see how this rookie responds to to a loss, to a right. defeat. I, I, I Not agree. just a loss, but to a defeat. Yes. Let Cam rest up. Yes. So you so, said so why everybody is like freaking out? Okay, like oh, you know they they were undefeated while Cam was gone. Well, until last week, but finally. Kyle hit that hit that bump of the road, mm-hmm. and I'm telling you, it was bad. What was it like, fifty one? The fifty burger, the yeah, thirteen, something, something crazy. like that. It was bad, right? So, so, so the knee jerk reaction is, let's bring our man back. No, <laughs> you no. Know what I mean? like, so. Y'all made this bed, not lay in it. Right. Yeah. Let Cam heal up. Yeah. You know, the the loss that was going on was partially because he wasn't a hundred percent healthy. Right. Absolutely. So why bring going him back in? To the same thing. Yeah, no. Right. No. If Cam, work, if work Cam with your boy. Everyone talks about how great Kyle Allen is accurate right. and Kyle Allen is this yeah. and Kyle Allen is that. And I'm not saying it was him who lost the game hundred mm-hmm. percent. There's enough blame to go around. I mean, I mean he turned the ball over a little bit. Right. Yeah. But <laughs> but there's some other that that defense allowed fifty one points did, too, which so, which so. is unexpected. Excuse me. That's right. right. So, uh, you know what was what was going on there? Yeah. But um, he didn't add to any help. Absolutely, and I feel like uh, if um, if if Cam Newton can't do Cam Newton stuff, if he can't come out looking like Cam, then Newton, he's not special. Then he needs to sit on the bench right. until he's able to do right. Cam Newton stuff. And okay, look, you lost the game, right? Right. So now you slip you slip the game behind the scenes. So now instead of being one game back, now you're two games back. But um, if you put Cam in there, who knows what's going to happen. Right. right. It, it just I, not going to guarantee a win. The Saints are playing good it. football. Yeah, I wouldn't risk it. So, I no. I wouldn't risk it. So, um, our good buddy Glass, uh, mm-hmm. he dropped the, 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 the infamous voice message, our first one of the year. I kept I'm surprised it took us eight weeks to finally get a voice. We've been pumping this thing since the beginning. <laughs> Y'all leave the voice messages, man. It's dope. Let's do it. Lead the voice messages. Yeah. So, 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 Glass left a voice message talking about you know the two one of the teams, the Patriots and the the, the 49ers, and he and, and, and basically he was want to know. Um, in fact, you know what? Let's just let's play it real quick. We can play it again. We know we played last week. We'll play it again, and then we'll we'll talk about uh, what we think. Okay. Think. Okay. What's up, Team Boy TV Game Time Crew? Vernie B, Big Q. This your boy Glass, aka the Sage of Sports. My question is. You have two undefeated teams left in the NFL. The New England Patriots and the San Francisco 49ers. Look at the schedule and I need you to tell me which NFL team left on their schedule will give them their first loss. Appreciate it. Keep up the good work. Talk to you later. Peace. Okay, so that was that was the voice message, right? Right. So you know, which you, you said, give you a week to think about it. Yeah. Okay. Right. So it's a week later. Okay, <laughs> you know so I'm ready. Saying, right. Okay. Um, which one did you want to look at first? Well, here's the thing. I only looked at the next five games for each team. Okay. Okay. So. So that's uh, that is. Uh, am I looking at this correctly? Is that is that. They don't play again until the 11th? The 49th? Oh, no, they're not in the back. What is going on here? So they played the Cardinals. Then they played oh, yeah, the Cardinals on, on thir- They got Cardinals on Thursday night this week. Okay, right. I was like, what is going on here? Okay. Yeah. Cardinals, Seahawks, Cardinals again. Packers. And then the Packers and the Ravens. Right. So. So for me, honestly, their potential for their first loss is the Seahawks. Okay, that's potential. They got the Ravens really. I mean, they got the the, the Cardinals really close. They got them like, you know, two times in three weeks. Which and they're gonna beat them both times, pretty, pretty much. Yep. So right. they, we have yeah. the Packers, who yes. have the potential to beat them. Yes. And then the Ravens. You know, that's a look. Taking the, the Cardinals out of there because those are the games that I think they guaranteed the way to win. Mm-hmm. Um, the Seahawks, I think, have they played the Seahawks yet this season? I don't know if they have. I think this might be their first meeting. I think. Might be, yeah, it is actually. Um, so that one could be interesting, right? Because I mean, that's yes. a division game, you yes. know, division matchup always play tough against right. one another. But they got Seattle in San Francisco, just like they got Green Bay in San Francisco. This way, gets tough, even if they survive Seattle and they, and they survive Green Bay because they play them at home, they play them at Levi's, right? 
They got to go to Baltimore. They got Ravens. And then right <laughs> after the Ravens, yeah, they got them the Saints. the Saints, right? And they're going to come marching in. You know, so so the question, where, where they, what do you think they will take the first the first hit? Well, the question was who's going to lose first. Okay. Well, okay. So let's, well, let's pause so let's, this real quick. And right. Let's go to New England. Right. All right. So New England, right off the bat, they go to Baltimore. This week, right. Right. So when you look at the next five games for the Ra- for the Patriots, yeah. they actually have the opportunity to lose each one. They do. They you have uh, Ravens, Eagles, Cowboys, Texans, yeah. and Chiefs. I'm yeah. thinking Chiefs by that time, Mahomes, Mahomes is, back. is back. Yes. So uh, they really have the potential to lose all five games. They really do. And so when I look at who's going to lose first, I think New England is going to take I the think first. It's going to be New England as well. Actually, I, I got a feeling it happens. It's, it's going to happen this week, and I think against that we might not see it. I, I, it's a good. It's a good bet that the Ravens knock both of these teams off. I think they will too. And that's what it looks like, right? You yeah. know, oddly yeah. enough, after watching them play, watching yeah. how gritty they can be. Mm-hmm. I think the Ravens are going to represent the AFC in the playoffs, and in the Super Bowl. They look unstoppable right now. I mean, like I Houston is, is, but every week, some, you know, I some, love Houston. Some crazy happens with Houston every I'm week. Like, the but, craziest Deshaun Watson thing. Yeah, but now. they didn't lose JJ White for the season. He's done. Yeah, they but they earlier they traded away Jadavion Clowney earlier this season. You know, there, there's something about like um, a person's will, mm-hmm. and when I see that quarterback tell his yes. coach. We're going. He's like, heck yeah, we going yeah, for it. Yeah. I mean, like without a thought, without a like, right. that's what we do. We yeah. come to win. Yeah. Like the team supports him. This dude is way better. Lamar is way better than I thought he was, and then I yes. gave him credit for yes, that first absolutely. season. Absolutely. He, I don't know what he did over the yeah, summer. Yeah. You know, he, you know what I think it was. I think what it was is the way it would play out. I think. You know, when when we saw that they was going away from Joe Flacco, that surprised me, right? First of all, that surprised me. Cause really? What? It did. I, look, I know what Joe did for that franchise, and I know Joe's, you know, his you know his, his stats. Right. He's not a terrible quarterback. No, he's not terrible. Right? Now, he was in a, a part of his career that was in a, in a bad On play. the down slide. So they decided to go away from him, and then I think what it was, they... they, they they, I think they knew they had something in Jackson. The rest of us didn't know. Absolutely. But they didn't. They didn't want to put it on full display. Yeah. They was like, "Oh look, we know this dude can throw. We're just not gonna let him throw. Right. We right. don't need to. Yeah. Right? We don't need to call it. We, we, if we're gonna, we gonna showcase anything, let's showcase this stuff. Right. And the, the running and all of that. Right. Because what they gonna say? Oh, you know, he's we seen this before. He's you know Cam and uh, other cut up quarterbacks who, who do the same. He's a, he's a runner. Right. Okay. Right. But then you come out to, to you know to kick the season off, and you're throwing for 400 yards three games in a row, and and nobody sees that coming. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what it is too. He, <laughs> he he doesn't fit the profile. Like, Absolutely not. Like he doesn't need a mm-hmm. mic in his face at all. No. He's just not eloquent. He mm-hmm. he he's not well spoken. Right. Um. He's he's obviously extremely smart. Yeah. But he just doesn't. Uh, convey that when you Absolutely. see him talk. Yeah. He's got that real like country yeah. manner about mm-hmm. him. But you know, I think that's a good thing for him. Cause, I like, do too. I mean, I ain't got no problem. Because if I compare him to somebody like a Cam, Cam is not a real bright, smart, intelligent, eloquent person either. No. But he tries to be. Right. And, and he comes off so stupid. Absolutely. Yes. See, and we at look least, at him at like, Lamar, shut At least up. Lamar don't try, to, don't try to be. Right. He's exactly. just Lamar. Right. Absolutely. And, and I can I can feel that. <laughs> right. So, yeah. I'm thinking New England gets that hit. I'm hoping it's this week against the Ravens. Yes. Um, yeah. Yeah, because it looked like uh, San Francisco probably going to survive this week. I give them slight advantage going up against the division rival of Seattle because they're at home. Right. And they're probably going to take the Cardinals at home. Right. The, the, the Packers ain't no joke. That's going to be a good test for them, too. We thought Carolina was a good test. Uh-huh. This is going to be an even greater test for them. Right. If they get past the Packers, they would definitely lose against the Ravens. Right. If they come out of this and they still, you know, we, they go, if they go to New Orleans and they still undefeated, they probably going to lose there. Right. Right. If they come out of that one, okay. Then let's go ahead and put him in the Super Bowl. <laughs> you know what I'm so, but again, I want to thank uh, I want to thank Glass uh, for providing that piece of discussion. Yeah, that for was us a pretty good question. And, uh, and sending that question in. Uh, and Glass, do it again if you feel like it, man. And and, and for everybody else, uh, if you got a question for for us, for any one of our shows, for for here for me and Vernie, or if you got one for for me and Glass on on Fallout, or if you got some for me and, and the and the crew uh, on Wednesday nights. Leave your voice messages, man, and this, the link is always with the podcast, so you always know what the link is. Absolutely, we and love if you to need the link, you. hit me up on Twitter. I will provide and it. If, for and you. if you want 
the ladies' perspective. You right. know, Bernie P is right here to help you out with it. Absolutely, so. but I, but listen, I don't apologize for my for my for my brown's cut. I'm just I just want people to know that. But you're not apologizing. I'm not apologizing for it. For it. Okay. I, you know, I feel bad because you know at the end of it, I old glass of box of cigars, which I think this is like this, the second season this, in this a row. Is, it's becoming like a like a, a tradition. <laughs> Hopefully this, hopefully this will be the last one. Seems like tradition. <laughs> you know? Just go ahead on order them up for next year too. Know, right, that's probably what he gonna say. I, you know, I, I, you know, I hate I gotta. I gotta face him tomorrow night uh, mm-hmm. about that. So, so that, that'll be a, a nice discussion. What up, football fans? You want to stay up on the latest of Team Boy TV happenings? Like us on our Facebook page at Team Boy TV on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter at Team Boy TV and at Vernie B seventy three. You can also check out our YouTube page at Team Boy TV Turbo, where there's live events, videos, among other things. You can also keep up with the latest happenings, live chats, uh, question and answer sessions on Google Plus at Team Boy TV. Thank you once again for watching Team Boy TV. Alright, you ready to, uh, you ready to do this? Yeah, let's do it. Alright, so let's see, uh, let's see what we have in store. You know what, I should start doing, I should start playing the sound when we get ready to do the picks. I never did that. Remember, I might do that this way. We'll see, right? Alright, so, let's see, uh, this is our third, we just talked about this game, right? Yeah. Uh, Thursday night game, we are got the San Francisco 49ers going to Arizona. Um, look, I don't think there's much discussion here. I think, look, I'm gonna give the Cardinals their due. They've been taking advantage of some situations, and they don't want a couple games in a row. I like it. You I mean, I that's that's what that's what a team is supposed to do. Yeah. You're supposed to take advantage of the situation. Yeah, absolutely. But they're gonna lose this. Oh, game. absolutely. Okay. Yeah, no doubt about it. No, that San Francisco just doing they just doing so well right now. So you know they 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 if they feel good about themselves, they should. Yeah. You know, I think so. Uh, your boys, the Houston is just a divisional game. Uh, Houston is traveling down to Jacksonville to face off against it on one game back. Uh, the Jacksonville Jags under Gordon. Look, Gordon. The quietest kept them boys, them boys are balling down there. So anyway, yeah. let's give y'all a little bit of history. He says your boys to me because I am in love with Deshaun Watson <laughs> now. Like that is my quarterback. Your boys. And I see this dude get kicked in the eye and he still makes the touchdown throw. Yeah. I love the way he breaks down game um, analytics to the reporters. I'm just like, I'm getting a Deshaun Watson jersey. I'm full blown in on Deshaun Watson Deshaun right Watson's now. Deshaun Watson's a good dude, man. And, right, yeah. and he's excellent off yeah, the field, good, too. So so I'm like in love right now. I mean, now. I think he was in the, the um, Walter Payton Man of the Year running in his rookie year. Really? If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, he, he yeah. is a class act. Yeah. So I'm going Texans anyway, not just because of all that. I just yeah. feel like they're the better team. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, you know, Jacksonville sent off Jalen and whatnot. And I think that was the best for both parties. If was. someone don't want to be there, yeah. we faking back injuries. We hurt. We got yeah. the flu. Yeah. Go on, baby. Right. Do you? Yeah. But um, I do think that they, of course, Houston has the better quarterback. Mm-hmm. And even though J.J. Watt is out, I still think that defense gets the better of, I of so Jacksonville. Too. I think so, too. Now, the interesting thing about Jacksonville, Right now, because you know they got rid of uh, what's his name? Well, I can't think of his name. Bo- Bowles, Co- Coles, no. What was the quarterback's name? Boyle. Um, Bo- Bo- Bowles. Oh my goodness. Bo- whatever. I-, I don't know. I can't think of his name. Right. But anyway, they got rid of him. That they dude brought in Nick Foles. Mm-hmm. He got hurt. They rocking with Gordon Minshew. And then he seemed to be a, a really good fit for this thing. Yeah, I think he is too. I think he's you know actually what? this I, hidden gem that people didn't so know too. about. I think you know he may end up being their guy. But that doesn't surprise me with Tom yeah. Coughlin. Right, right. He, he, he actually can be yeah. pretty good or motivate a quarterback yeah. in the right. Way. They need some wide receiver help. They need to be good, right? They, they need some wide receiver. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, oh my goodness, this is right here. Chicago is going to Philly. Philly need to snap back quick because they are slowly slipping away from Dallas after taking that, that pounder from Dallas last, what's the last week? Mm-mm. Week four. Yeah. So th- they need to get back into it. The Bears, they, they slip it like real bad. Like they, they are falling completely. Like in I the, the Bears are a quarterback away from a decent team. Yeah. Mitchell Trubisky sucks. Yeah. He yeah. does. And so I don't know. And, like, the Bears are this team, like, since 85, they just can't get it right. Right. So. But they're on the, on the verge of putting together a really nice defense right now. I mean, it looking good. Yeah. They just got to get rid of that quarterback. Can you imagine, though, if, not, if you mentioned Trubisky. He is 29th in offense. Yeah. But can, can you imagine if you mentioned Trubisky and all last week, 
all you read about on on the news and the social media is that your team is reaching out to other teams looking for a quarterback. How, you know, don't you let that shit light a fire under him this week? You got to have talent, though, for it to matter. You know, yeah. you can have all the will in the world sometimes, but sometimes you just need talent. Yeah. Well, they're going to lose this week. So, yeah. you know. I'm going Eagles. That'll put them at 3-5, and five, and then the Eagles will move up to be 5-4. A little and four. over 500. So they'll be back over, back over 500 again now. Um, Pittsburgh... This was a rough one right here. I feel bad for them. I'm, I'm sorry, Pittsburgh. You're going to get beat by Indianapolis. Yes, they are. And because, listen, I see you struggling with the JV squad yesterday. And you needed, like, them to help you out with stuff yeah. before you got a fire lit under you. And don't tell me it's because you got a rookie quarterback. Yeah. You're playing a high school team. Mm-hmm. You guys should have came in there and knocked it out the box. And I mean, really, though. No, really. I, and I know. And, I, and, you know, this kind of ties to the conversation we had last week. I was like, well, I don't, I don't. Like quarterbacks winning MVP all the time. This is a prime example of why it happens all the time. Don't even you, go there. You take Ben Rossi's but listen, even if even though even though the Steelers are, are I think they only have about seventy percent of the team they were two years ago. Mm-hmm. You take Ben Rossberger out, it goes from seventy percent to like thirty. You know what I mean? Like I think if Ben was playing with the team that they have now, they would not be three and four. I think they would have like two or three more wins than they have right now. Well, yeah, because he's an experienced quarterback. Right. But that doesn't mean that he needs to be MVP. We listen, I'm, listen, I, listen. I didn't say listen. Ben. I'm just saying that's the reason why the quarterbacks hold so much weight. Yeah, okay, you they hold so I mean? much weight. They yeah. touch the ball every time on right. offense. Yeah, who, who, who? We're tired of it. The story I, is I, old. I get it. I'm, I'm just using less. We, we use a lot of terminology that elevates the quarterback mm-hmm. and diminishes everybody else, and that's a problem. We hear the same. Even like, okay, I'll give you an example. People hate when you say that the quarterback is a game manager. Mm, they do. They don't take offense to that. What the heck is your quarterback supposed to I be? Mean, that's his job. That's what he's That's doing. his job. He's supposed to manage the game. But well, they want to be playmakers. So, so, so why is everybody so offensive? They <laughs> they have a role just like everybody else. They should be directing traffic on offense on that field. Yeah. They should be managing the game. Yeah. Any other place else, if I'm a manager, it's not negative. Yeah. But on the football field, you a game manager, it's yeah, negative. It's bad, right? Like, yeah. get out that's, of here. That's rough, man. Nick Bosa, <laughs> MVP this year. Okay. I'm telling you. Okay. Over Christian McCaffrey? Over Christian. Okay. Yeah, where was he last week? Uh, I think he still had 138 yards of scrimmage. I want to really? Say. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you know, so. I, I'll <laughs> take him before I take the quarterback. <laughs> yeah, okay. there you go. There you go. But we like... Uh, I'm sorry. Indianapolis. Yeah. I got off my soapbox. Even though I think uh, Jacoba Brissett is, on, uh, Brissett is on, along for the ride, he ain't really contributed much to that team. No, stop. Look at his stats. He's pretty good. Okay. I don't know, yeah, man. Yeah. Just, he's just, oh, Lord. He, yeah, this, Dumb and dumber this week. Yes, right. But you know what? This is an opportunity for Miami. They're at home, too. This is an opportunity for Miami. They got the New York Jets coming in there, right? I actually feel bad for their coach because... This dude's story is amazing. Yeah. It really is. Floor, I mean, floor, 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 I, I floor. mean, yeah. like bootstraps, you know, yeah. from New York in the, in the hood hood. Yeah. Now, I'm from New York, so I know what's the hood. They yeah. in the hood hood. Yeah. When you in do, do or die bed style, that you in the hood. And yeah. this dude pulls him up by the bootstraps, rents rooms for people to to get training and, and, and opportunities. I love a good story. But his team sucks. But you know what though? Hey, you can't. Well, you know what? You were making the story. We're probably making the story even better though, because he came into he came into the the absolute worst situation you could think of. Now you know, obviously, he wasn't going to turn that sugar into nothing. I mean, turn that into sugar right right off the bat because they're bad. Right. right. They've dealt away everything. Like they've gutted that team. Everybody's gone. Like they have the worst of the worst. Of the players, right? You know what I'm right. So, you he has to, and I don't know what it what it's going to take because I don't know if they're going to spend some money. I mean, you know, the draft really can't get you, you know, back on board in one year. You can't do that to the draft. You got to spend a little bit of money. You got to you got to do something. I, don't I know. just I just want them to give him an, an more of an opportunity. I think he good. I think I think everybody in the world understands that you can't fire this guy in this situation. That's just like that's the reason why Hugh Jackson was able to stay. 
in Cleveland for three years is because, look, bro, we, we get it. You know what I'm saying? Right. We, we know we have nothing. You right. can't, you know, make a phone call with right. a shoestring in right. the cup. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you, you can't, you can't, like, you can only lead up. Like, so, uh, so you, are you thinking Miami gets off the snide? You know what? I, I you know, I'm going to do it. I'm going to go ahead and do it because, you know, I always got to do one of these picks every week. And, and New York just, man, they, they are so discombobulated to me. You know, even though I think they still look better as far as offensively, I think they look, you know, even though I don't trust their quarterback no further than I can throw him. Right. Um, you know, but I don't know. But they have, uh, you know, Miami had Fitzpatrick right. playing, who looked pretty good, you know. Yeah, but he looked like, he looked like Ryan Fitzpatrick. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's what he looked. And, you know, you can say that, like, that's better than... Then, then, then some like some some of these like it's better than Oshwild and it's better yeah. than some other people, but but still, he, you know, he he has his tendencies to do a lot of things that he's been doing, like throwing interceptions and things like that. But I would get I would put money on him before uh, Josh Allen. Is that Josh name? Rosen? Rosen, yeah. Whatever. So I'm Rosen. gonna put a name out there for Miami, yeah. and I'm gonna put a name out there for Chicago, mm. and it's unpopular mm. name. But you know the name I'm talking about. Yeah, but you're wasting your it's, breath. It's CK. Yeah. It's not Calvin Klein. <laughs> we are talking about Colin Kaepernick. Yeah. These teams need a gay a gay manager you, to help them get through. Can you look I'm a, I, I can I can almost envision this. Colin Kaepernick coming down to Miami. Bringing a little bit of swagger, bringing a little bit, and he's the number one underdog the world has oh, ever seen. It would be a beautiful story. Oh my god, it would be great. Look, all they need to win is like four games. Four games. <laughs> and, <laughs> and it would make his return so triumphant. It, it really would. It, and, and I think Miami is his team too. Right. right? I mean, you know? come on, come on. But, but you know, I, I just, I, I don't know. I, yeah, I'm just I, whispering I, it out and putting it out there. Yeah. CK. I mean, because, you know. Call him up. If, if there's any, any time that, that he should be getting a telephone call, it should be right now. When, when, with all the stuff that's going on, there, all these quarterback injuries. There's a, there's a injuries. ton of teams that should be calling his number Look, for you a tryout. Look, so quarterback injuries, plus you got a bunch of sucky quarterbacks. Yeah. There. You know what I mean? So Absolutely. Chicago's practically begging for a quarterback. Yeah. You know, Miami ain't saying much, but they know they need a quarterback. Because yeah. if they had an opportunity to get somebody, they would. And I know New York probably don't want to make a move because they just made well, a move. Well, he's new. Right. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, they, 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 they and he's probably move. still not healthy after that mom. Right. That stuff right. wipes you out. Yeah. But I, I just doubt it. I just, I just, I just think you know that story is done. I think we're, CK, you know, yeah. I'm telling you, I think it's over. Okay, but we, uh, I, I think I'm gonna give us some money. I think Miami get their first win here. I, I don't, I don't know if I can go with Miami. I have to go with the Jets. Yeah, Miami is pretty. They suck pretty bad. Le'Veon Bell is gonna get. But if they're gonna win one, they better win it right here. Money yards. They better win one right here because they, they are. If I, if I saw the stat correctly right now, they've lost the last ten games. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty bad. That's bad. That's the last pretty bad. I mean, are they in the, even in, what are they? Like 30th and everything? Yeah. I mean, look, they're, they're, there's somebody worse than them in defense. Oh, God. There's somebody worse than them in, with, with, with rushing the ball. And there's somebody, there's somebody worse. Oh, than, look, the Jets are worse than them in offense. Yeah, see what I'm saying? So, and see, worse than them in rushing so and see, passing. Right. Oh, wow. See, see oh, wow. Okay, can I augment my pick? <laughs> Good Lord. I'm telling you, right? There it is. I tell you that that is what it so might I, be the week. It might be the week. It oh, might be the week. Gosh. Okay, so Minnesota uh, goes to Kansas City. Um, I don't know what the status of. Oh, actually, did uh, I? I don't even remember. Did, did Mahomes play last week? No, he didn't. Name. Oh, okay, because I know he was practicing. But he pretty, wanted to play. Reed said no. Okay, so I'm pretty sure he's gonna be ready to go this week though. Um, yeah, and uh, they need to get back right because you know what they've been having some struggles. Uh, I, I like Minnesota. Minnesota's kind of heating up right now, and uh, I'm trying to think of where they are in. Uh, where are they in uh, their division? Yeah, let me see real quick. They are. I think they're in the number two slot. Uh, I think Green Bay is ahead of them. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, so you got great. They one game back from Green Bay. Mm-hmm. So that's there's that. So I mean, like they need well, this win is an AFC uh, win. I mean, it'll it'll help them out on their their overall, but you mm-hmm. know. Um, yeah, so they got something to play for. They actually are in a better position than they the road team. I know going in the overhead is kind of tough. Um, did Matt Moore get the win for them last week? I can't remember. No, he he lost. Okay, so they played Green Bay. Green Bay won. Yeah, yeah, that's right. You know what? I'm 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 about to, I'm about to go with the Vikings. I'm, I'm gonna have to go with the Vikings yeah. too. I think their defense is going to help them. Yeah, I, I mean they're fifth too. in defense. In that KC defense is horrible. Yeah, Spagnola got no kind of magic. 
Lord. Okay, so if it's any time, and it's a home game too, and I know how these Panther fans are. So <laughs> the Tennessee Titans, they got they having some struggles right now, right? Yeah, they are on the struggle bus. <laughs> oh my goodness, they are, they have some struggles right now, and they come into 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 Carolina, who just got. Demolish. Yes. So they, they should be ready to play the eat, eat, eat. And the Carolina Panthers defense, you know, you can say what you want to say about, you know, Kyle, I don't know, whatever the case may be. I ain't not so much worried about the Carolina offense. This defense gave up 57 points, 51 points last 51 week. 51 points. They should feel some type of way about it. Yeah, that. Luke Keekly, uh, CBI, intruder alert. Right. <laughs> they, they should feel some type of way about that. You know, I just think this is a bad. This is a bad week to be a Tennessee Titans fan. Yes, I, I, just don't I like, think I don't they think are on the feast. Work. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna work out. And you in the and you in the home stadium too yeah. after that loss. Yeah, I'm going Carolina. Yeah, but I think I'm gonna go with my Panthers this week. Um, so yeah, that should be a good one. Um, Washington goes to Buffalo. Washington, one of them teams, another one of the ones that's 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 having some issues right now. I'm going Bills. I gotta go to Bills with this one too. And I feel so bad because you know I wanted that quarterback that they picked, Dwayne Haskins, mm-hmm. but like he is just having a terrible time because he, really he got is. no kind of support. Okay, you got um, AP and whatnot, yeah. but the play calling sucks. The it, it's just been so tumultuous for this well, young yeah. guy and putting him out there like he's supposed to be the answer right. when you got nothing else going yeah. on there. I just think it's horrible. Yeah, I think it's horrible. But you know but what? Washington's I, management is horrible. Why did they just fire the coach? So you know they're having some issues, right? Yeah. But so. but they need to fire the owner. <laughs> right. Well. That, yeah. That's always the problem. Yeah. That's a whole different different thing right there. Um, so, Seahawks. Yeah, definitely the Seahawks. Uh, but you know what? The, the Bucks then the, the, the Bucks then did some stuff. Like, did they beat the Rams this year? Uh huh. They have two wins though, and the five losses. Right. But so they had wins. two good weeks. Yeah. The only reason why I would give them any type of credit is because I love their coach and Bruce Arians. I yeah. always say that he's a good guy. Yeah. He's a good coach. Yeah, but he but he knows. But I gotta go see. He knows Pete Carroll really well. Mm-hmm. You know, they even coach against him a, a lot. But I, I think they, since they're going to the Seattle, they don't, they don't stand a chance. Mm-hmm. I, and I James think, Winston is. I would hard. love to see them pinch Jameis Winston this week. But Who's their backup, though? I don't know. Yeah. But I would love to see something else happen, but I doubt it doesn't what happen, though. But I know uh, they said they had benched Andy Dalton, but I think they're on the bye this week. Um, so the Detroit Lions are going into, and this is sad that these teams are kind of in the same position. Uh, it goes into Oakland, and I thought Oakland would be doing a lot better than what they're doing right now. But did you really? I, I really did. Mm. I mean, look, they had, uh, you know, Antonio Brown at one point. <laughs> you know, they, I don't know. But, Dude, you know. What a difference a week I, makes. I'm telling you, right? But actually, I'm picking them against the Lions. Yeah, I think I, think I am. So I think I'm picking them against the Lions. Because uh, the Lions, I don't know, man. The, Matt Patricia has been struggling ever since. Like, I don't know. I don't know what they need to do. They, they definitely need some, some defensive players. And Detroit ain't really been good on defense. And they don't have any receivers. Or any, no, what do they, they really don't. have? Yeah, they don't I mean, have really who receivers. can you name anybody, really? No. Cause I mean, all they, they have... shipped away Golden Tate yeah. to us, to New York. So mm-hmm. I don't and the defense mean... ain't been no good since yeah. Donovan Sula. Right. You know so, what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, like, that should, that's one thing. They should have never let him slip to that thing. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know why they couldn't, couldn't keep him. He was a homegrown dude. They, yeah. they, they should have kept him. But, you know, whatever. Like, and it's in Oakland. I'm going to Oakland. Yeah, me too. Oh man, these poor Chargers, man! They can't uh-huh. catch a break. They can't catch a break. They got Green Bay coming in there. <sighs> Green Bay. Philip gonna... Rivers last year. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I Green Bay. So. He ain't got nothing to come back for next next year, man. Yeah, he's yeah. got like fifty kids. Go yeah. take care of them, baby. That's right. Yeah, Green Bay probably get this one because the, the Chargers. I think they gave up, man. Then all that stuff that they were doing with the with Melvin Gordon and stuff, and then he he was just he a on the line. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. Just, they're just terrible. Yeah. They're going to get okay. that coach fired. Okay, now this is interesting. <laughs> I don't think I want to hear this, but it is what it is, right? Both of these teams got the, pretty much the same record. So whatever you say about Cleveland, you can probably say about Denver, too. Mm. Just say, I don't know what. I don't know what's wrong. Denver is just bad. And, and you know what? Well, Denver's defense yeah, is pretty good. It was a good defense. Right, because, you, know, you know, they keep a good Ron <coughs> Miller. But other than that, they pretty much suck. And, mm-hmm. and we heard Flacco be very uh, vocal. Oh, yeah. You know, which yeah. was surprising. I'm much surprised he said some of the things that he said. But I, I just think it's amazing that someone with the talent that Elway had cannot determine talent. Like, what is wrong? 
I don't know. Either. I don't know either, man. It's, so, it's, it's very weird because you know it's the exact opposite with John Lynch over in San Francisco. They since he came and took over, their defense is destroying everybody mm-hmm. because he know what 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 it takes to be a defensive right, player. Right. You've been doing it all your life, dude. Why? why you, I don't know. Yeah, like what's, I don't know what's going on. Quarterback, don't you know what they look like? <laughs> it's weird, man. And and and, and Elway's been there for that for about what seven years or so. So I have to go Cleveland because I just think they're they're desperate. I thought they're desperate too. And I think I think they are just like yeah. we can't lose. Well, because I got a feeling though that they need to they need to start playing for the coach because I, I I think somebody in the office need to realize that they made a mistake here with the coach. I, you know, and I, I, I look, I know... I mean, he looked you know, like he's supposed to be somewhere poaching gators or something. <laughs> you know, everybody get on my case for this <laughs> because I'm always like, I, I don't I don't put enough blame on the, on the, on the, on the players because, I, you know, I like the Browns players. I, I mean, say what you want to say about, about Baker. Look, it is what it is. And most of the things that people feel about Baker is probably true. But I like the kid. You know what I'm saying? I'm, like, hey, I'm not going to dispute that. You know, there are a lot of negative things that people say about him. It's probably true. Right. But but I, but I like his moxie. You know, and I, I like all of that. You know, yeah. he just need to kind of contain and control it a little bit better. Yeah. And but I really feel like the detriment to that team is their coach. And I got a feeling somebody's going to realize that. And um, and if, if they if the Browns can't get it together, the Kitchens may have to look for it. I mean, I know one year that's all they're going to. You know, he and Cleveland they're known for it. So. Right. But they win this week, I think, against uh, against Denver. I think right. they do too. And, Even uh, though it's in mile high. Yeah. Well, that right. place ain't they don't hold the same stigma they used to. You know what I mean? This is a good one. This is going to be. I'm our, just thinking of the conditions on their body, oh, the breathing okay. and stuff yeah. like that. Oh, okay. That's more than anything. Gotcha. Yeah. This is a good. This that's, that's, that's finally we getting a good Sunday night game. This is a good Sunday night. Now game. Now we finally getting a Sunday night game. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And and, and so this is what we talked about to kick the show off. We talked about, you know, the undefeated New England Patriots. Listen, you know that if I thought they were going to lose to the Cleveland Browns last week, they definitely, I feel like they definitely got a better chance of losing against the Baltimore Ravens. I'm going to do it this week. And I don't think it's going to be as unpopular as, as my pick was last week. I think Baltimore get the job done. I think Baltimore gets yeah. the job done too. I'm not. Yeah. I, I, I think that this New England offense gets exposed yeah. for the first time Absolutely. this Absolutely. week. And they we struggled a little bit with the Bills, mm-hmm. and then they had ice cream and cake the rest of the way. Absolutely. Now you got a steak. Yep. I think they get exposed. Yeah. Tom Brady's going to look every bit of 40. Oh, absolutely! Especially when they put hands on them a couple of times. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! So it's gonna be, it should be good. It should be good. That's gonna be a good game. That's gonna be live, a good. We need to live tweet during that. I game. think we will. Yeah, I think we, we will. Do that. I think we will. As a matter of fact, I think we might even take it a oh. step further. We might even do some stuff with on um, Twitter live that's Periscope or something. We might. Dope. We might do yeah. something. Yeah, yeah. Okay, this is this is, uh, this is gonna close the season five with the week mm-hmm. finale. Uh, mm-hmm. Cowboys going into the Meadowlands to face off against mm-hmm. the Giants. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nah, uh, listen. I, I like I like I like Dan, Danny Daniel Jones. Daniel, I like Daniel Jones. I like him. And, you know what? I, I hate the Cowboys, and I hate mm. I hate that they they escaped last week. Mm. I hate was well, a week before because I think it was on the bye last week. Um, I hate that they got out of out of there. Who are they playing against? Somebody went in there and was supposed to win. Was it Philly or was it? It was. It was Philly. Philly. It was Philly. And Philly, and Philly got did beat. not get it done. Nope. And I know that. Um. And that, and that was. That's, and the whole foundations of Dallas would have exploded mm-hmm. if they had lost that fourth game in a row. Right. And so now they kind of regrouping a little bit. They had a week a week off to kind of get themselves together. I didn't have to hear no Jerry Jones sound clips this week. I feel good. You know about that. But you know, I just don't think the they, they just ain't got enough. Even though I, I, I like our defense is twenty eight. Yeah. No, they, no, it's an L. I don't think they're gonna make the game interesting. Um, I, I mean, you you don't know how bad this hurts in my heart to pick the Cowboys over my Giants. No, it's, it's just like sickening. But well, they got home field advantage. You know, they ain't got no advantage. They're gonna be out of full force. They ain't got no advantage. <laughs> Stop it. Yeah, so they're probably gonna lose. They're right? gonna take that L. <laughs> right, they're probably gonna lose. They're gonna take a hot flaming L. Yeah, but it's okay. That's okay. I tell you what, you need to do. I mean, you know, and they know it too. They might not have nothing, um, you know, really together this season. This this, this uh, season, but they'll be okay. So uh, who's on the buy? So the Falcons, we had to worry about seeing them be terrible mm-hmm. this week. I wanted to worry about the Bengals losing another game and another L to their record. Uh, the Rams get to sit down and the Saints get to sit down. So. Uh, luckily, that gives us a chance. If we got to worry about the Saints winning, that means that we can win and probably get back into 
catching up with them. So, uh, Rams, Saints, Bengals, Falcons are on the bat this week. Um, so, there's that. All and, right. Yeah, so I think that's going to be our show for this week. I uh, want to thank uh, everybody for checking out the podcast last week. Again, I want to thank Lance for leaving the voice message. Uh, again, you guys can leave the voice message too. Make sure to join us on Sunday night. Um, probably be, I send a couple tweets out early, but I'm, you know, usually at work on Sunday. I get home uh, around halftime of the four o'clock games. I uh, start tweeting then, but I think that for the finale, uh, me and Brennan are going to do something special. We'll, we'll either have like a, uh, uh, Periscope live Twitter thing going or we definitely will be live tweeting during the show. So, uh, definitely, uh, uh during that game, that. you guys, uh, you guys, uh, you guys uh, engage with us and that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Anything you want to add before we wrap it up? No, I'm on Twitter at BernieB73. Yeah. And I am, uh, at Team Boy TV and we'll see you guys on Sunday. And we'll uh, be back uh, next week to talk about it. Again, leave a voice message. Do all that. Follow us on Twitter. Uh, and we out of here. Peace. Yeah, have a good one. Peace.